Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for your March 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see um, if the person that you're separated from will come back towards you. Um, so apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. Uh, if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to um, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Uh, so Leo, let's get started. Tell me about Leo. Leo. The person that Leo is separated from. The person that Leo is separated from. Will this person come back towards Leo? Will this, will this person come back towards Leo for uh, March 2024? Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs for Leo. We have the three of pentacles here. So I feel like someone here is thinking about getting, uh, like, sort of like thinking about getting on the same page here with you. I feel like this person definitely wants to be your teammate and working towards a future here together. Okay, the Three of Wands here and the Three of Pentacles. I feel like this person is definitely yearning for you here, waiting for you to come back or wanting to come back towards you. It seems like they, maybe, you know, they send you a message and they put basically the ball is in your court sort of thing here. You know, that's if you choose to. We have the Moon here, Cancer, Pisces, Energy. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I feel like this person definitely has like really deep hidden emotions here towards you that they never shared with you here. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Scorpio Pisces. I feel like this person is an individual that's really deeply in love with you here. And I feel like this person definitely like dreams about you a lot. This person fantasizes you, fantasizes you uh, about you a lot. This person's definitely... This person's definitely trying to send you messages telepathically to let you know that they love you you know so i feel like there's no communication between you and this person right now but i feel like this person's definitely actively you know meditating sending you messages telepathically about how they feel what they're thinking right now and you could be feeling all these things right now leo tell me the three of wands here why is the three of wands here the three of wands here and the two of pentacles here tell me the two of pentacles here the two of pentacles here and we have the two of cups here yeah this person's still very much in love with you but I feel like this person's trying to figure out a way to get back to you or figure out a way to get you to come back to them. It seems like this person's definitely trying trying to pull out all the stops here. Doing kind of like doing the energy work here. The moon. We have the ace of cups here. I, I feel like with the ace of cups here and the moon, I feel like you you didn't even know how deeply this person feels about you, uh, Leo. The uh, Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups here in the, uh, here in the Magician, seems like this person's definitely, definitely trying everything that they can to manifest you back here with the uh, High Priestess here. The High Priestess here and the Three of Swords, they know what they did to you was really crappy here by keeping secrets here from you. You know, I feel like maybe this person put you in a third party situation where I feel like this kind of blew up the relationship here. And I feel like this person definitely is in this energy of wanting to heal this connection here, wanting to rebuild this tower here with you, Leo. Um, so, you know, at the end of the day, even though the person is feeling this way towards you, you still have every right to choose whether you want to take this on or not. You know, because at the end of the day, only you know what's best for you. So use your best discernment and your intuition here. What else do we have for, for Leo? What else does Leo need to know? Look out for work on here when it comes to the situation. What would happen if, like, Leo did come back together with this person? Or not? Let's see. Okay, the Fool card and the Justice card here. Libra energy. Aries, Aquarius energy with the Fool. We have the Ace of Wands here and the Queen of Wands. Yeah, this person's definitely wanting a passionate new beginning here with you. Seems like this person definitely had some lessons or l learned some major lessons here about sharing being transparent, being honest here, you know, and just embracing the experience that they're in because I feel like whatever they were feeling towards you, they could have been resisting it. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles here and the Wheel of Fortune. This person's definitely coming back changed. 
this person's definitely coming back different here. It seems like this person has learned a lot from the separation here. Yeah, expect a lot of changes from this person here. Expect that this person will stand by your side here. Expect that this person wants to stand with you and fight for this connection here with you, okay? So someone here is definitely singing a whole different different tune, playing a whole different beat here, all right? The Seven of Wands here and the Death card. Death card, Scorpio energy. Tell me about the Ace of Wands here. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Ace of Wands and the Eight of Cups. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Queen of Wands and the Ace of Swords. All four aces here. All four aces are out on the table. Um, with the Magician here, you know, uh, is the major arcana that houses all the ones here. So, you know, I feel like there is quite possibly between you and your person a new beginning here. Someone here walked away from you, turned their back on you here, and I feel like they're definitely in this energy of wanting to come back around. Okay. Ace of Cups here, no, Ace of Swords here, and the Queen of Wands, Eight of Cups here, and the Ace of Wands. Tell me the Ace of Pentacles here. Ace of Pentacles here, and the Page of Cups. Yeah, it seems like this person's definitely offering you some sort of offering you or coming in to apologize for breaking your heart here. And I feel like this person is really wanting this new beginning here with you. And I feel like with the Wheel of Fortune here, the Tower, and the Death card here, it look, this looks really good because this person's definitely coming back change. This person's definitely coming back different. You know, if this person was carrying around a lot of burdens, you know, a lot of pain and trauma, and they were transferring it or projecting, projecting it onto you, this person's definitely coming back with a lighter load here. You know, interesting. I feel like you've been trauma. I feel like you're still tra traumatized by this whole situation here between you and your person here. And I feel like right now in this very, uh, very, very moment, it could be that you're so angry at this person here. And I feel like right now you're just focused on filling up your own cups here. I do feel like eventually you and this person will have some sort of conversation here. Yeah, you and this person will have some sort of conversation here where I feel like you guys are going to meet up, have the meeting of the minds, and just sort of talk here. Okay. I, I, I do feel like, you know, perhaps you're curious about what this person has to say and what they have to tell you. And what they have to tell you is something that you might not have known because this person kept the secret about how they truly felt about you is that they have really deep love here for you. Okay. And it could, they could be, have, they could have some sort of deep regret that they should have shared this sooner here. Yeah. Look at that. We have the hangman, the star card, Aquarius energy, the lover's Gemini energy and the seven of swords here. They feel like they duped themselves here by not telling the truth, by lying here. And I, I feel like with the Eight of Swords here, this person's worried that they're going to lose you for good here, Leo. So I feel like this person's definitely with the Magician here trying to do everything that they can to fix this mess that they made here. <sighs> yeah, they're definitely coming back to talk to you, to regain your trust here. Asking you, uh, asking you for your forgiveness here. And I, I actually see you guys having some sort of, some of you guys having some sort of conversation with this person. All right. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.